So the emphasis is on short here. And, and here's the question. Can we really change the way we think about problems? Problems as old as humanity itself, about solutions, about using markets and using new finance mechanisms for conservation? Can we really begin to connect the dots in a way that we never have before? That's going to be the challenge to start speeding up what we do. So I want to talk about an age-old problem. And the problem is cooking with firewood in Africa. It's one of the major causes of deforestation on the continent. It's also a cause of CO2 emissions. Some analysts think it's the cause of up to 50% of violence against women and children in rural areas when they go out to collect firewood. It's shortened lifespans. Most of the estimates are eight to 10 years shorter because you're breathing in smoke when food is being cooked, especially women and children. It takes two to three hours a day to collect firewood. We just heard that collecting water takes people out of school, collecting firewood does too. And between the two of them, not a lot of time for school. So here's the question. Is there a better way to cook? Can we use markets to help solve not just this problem of firewood, but these four problems? Because they're all related. I think we can use biogas digesters in Africa. A family biogas digester would create enough methane to actually provide all the energy a, fam a family needs to cook its food and one hour of lighting each night so that they can be more literate. Not a bad thing. What does it take? It takes manure. Most African farmers have animals. One cow is enough to provide the manure for a digester for the whole year. Four goats or 25 chickens or any combination of these animals. Most farmers have this. So that's a good start. This is what a biogas digester looks like. You put, sorry, you put waste, you put the, the manure and water in the one end. The methane rises to the top. You bleed it off with a plastic tube up to your house. And the nutrient water comes out on the other end, which you can use to raise fish. You can use to grow duckweed and feed to ducks. And, or you can use it to water your garden and increase the amount of food that you have. Not bad for one simple little thing. So, how do you do it? Earth University in Costa Rica took a model of a biogas digester from Taiwan, adapted it. They produced it in Costa Rica for about $175 a unit. Uh, it lasted for 10 years, on average. $175 is a lot of money for an African farmer. That's about half of per capita income. So that's not an insignificant cost. Is there a way we can think of to finance this? Every family uses about three to four tons of firewood. Each animal, like a cow, produces about half a ton of methane emissions in a year. Combined, if you look at that from a CO2 equivalence point of view, we're talking about 16 tons per household per year. Can we bundle that over a million farmers, or 10 million farmers, or 100 million farmers? Can we pre-sell that carbon to actually finance giving away these units to farmers in Africa? Think laterally. Can we get China involved? Cost $175 to make this unit in Costa Rica. Well, Costa Rica is not exactly the most efficient manufacturing place in the world. What about China? I estimate 75 to 100 bucks. That's a very conservative estimate. I think China could make it for 60. And that's retail. So it could probably, actual cost of production would be down to 40. 16 tons of carbon a year over 10 years, 160 tons. For a dollar a ton for carbon, this thing would be generating cash for farmers, in addition to methane. Could China use this to offset their own CO2 emissions? 
the thermal power plants that they have been building. Could China use this to create a positive investment in Africa when some of their investments aren't considered so positive in some parts of Africa? So here are the opportunities. This is what we call a five-fer, not a two-fer, not a three-fer, but a five-fer. Reduce firewood collection, reduce rural violence, increase life expectancy, increase food production, and create a new asset, and here's the kicker, increase literacy. What do we need going forward in, in the 21st century? Subsistence farmers collecting firewood or people who can read and write? Think about it. Thank you.